what's up everyone uh here's another subject i want to talk to you about it's about how to do the right breeding timing and everything first um i would like to say that um for you to do this right take responsibility into your own hands don't depend on your vet to uh, to do the breeding for you um know everything before you go into the vet's office and what what needs to be done what, what procedure you want done and, and how and tell them how you want to do it and what day and timing um first is um when your female comes into heat and you see she's coming in heat she's swelling up she starts bleeding you see it on the first day uh day of the heat you take her in probably two to three days after and get a, a baseline progesterone test on her. Usually some females ovulate fast. You get some that come in two or three days early, right right around two or three days. And But for the majority, you usually take between seven to 10 days uh, to get to be ready to be bred. And you take her in, and she's usually tests out a baseline of like 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a baseline progesterone. That's something that you wanna know uh, before you move on. Um, so you don't miss the heat and you wait after you get the baseline day done wait maybe two days afterwards and get a another progesterone test this uh, progesterone test either tells you one she's still baseline or two she's hitting a LH surge an LH surge is when a female progesterone number spikes up from a 0.5 to a two two and a half or three Usually a LH surge is between 1.5 to 3. So when you see that number, you know whether the next two to three days your female will ovulate. Um, and that's when uh, you take another test. So two or three days after you take another test, she's, she probably is ovulating. And an ovulation number is uh, between 4.5 to 5 nanograms. Per milliliter now different vet use different scales of progesterone some vet use nanomoles some vet use nanograms you got to find out which scale um, they're using so you don't miss it nanomoles usually is a higher number than uh, than uh, nanograms per milliliter uh, on a 5.0 nanogram per milliliter reading will equal to a 15.0 on a nanomole so you got to understand progesterone numbers and what scale they're using before uh, uh, you move on because a lot of people miss the heat because they can't, they don't understand the progesterone numbers and the scale or the vet is using a scale different from the breeder or, or someone they're setting the semen out for you, you know. You guys got to um, communicate in that, that, that part. Um, so uh, when your female is at 5.0, the, o the opening window to breed her is two to four days um, for transcervical or uh, surgical. For me, if you're doing just a regular AI, um, you should breed her the following day after she is a 5.0. Because regular, for, with regular AI, it takes a, uh, uh, a longer period of time for the sperm to travel up uh, you know, the female's uterus and vagina to reach the cervix and then goes into the uh, to the uterus. So I would inseminate a female a day after she reaches ovulation if you're going to do regular AI. If you're going to do TCI, I would do two to three days. And if you're going to do surgical, it's between two to four days um, if you're going to do surgical. Um, and and another, uh, another information I want to give you guys is when uh, should you do um, the C-section? A lot of people are also confused on what and when to do a uh, C-section. C-section should be scheduled between 59 to 63 days after ovulation. Not after she goes into heat. But after she ovulates, ovulates mean the 5.0. So you count from that day that you that you did the the that you did the progesterone that 5.0. That's when she is due. 59 to 63 days at ovulation. It doesn't matter when you did the surgical. Doesn't matter when you did the AI. 
the day that she will be due is between 59 to 63 days from ovulation. So everyone who 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 keep track of their breathing should not have an issue with that. Um, that should you guys should be able to count the days. But let's say you did a breeding and you're unsure, or 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 you're unsure of the date, you forgot, and uh, and um, you don't want to cut up the female open too early. Um, what I suggest you guys do is. Um, between if you understand like how close she is let's say she's at 55 days or something like that but you don't know that she's at 55 she's kind of too early what you need to do is take a, your female's temperature within that week um a normal temperature in a female is a 101 um anything that's you can see that she's dropping slowly 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 meaning she's really close like if you take a temperature and she's at a 100 and you take a temperature she's at a 99 you know that she's getting really, really close to uh, to getting into labor. The magic number that I always look for is anything with 99.3 or or 98.9, 98.8. That's when I know a female's real close. If she's not already in labor or she's already looking uh, to have her babies. Um, another suggestion that I have for you guys is uh, if you're unsure get a reverse progesterone test from your vet that would actually tell you everything when um uh, your the, the the female should become uh, should get into labor usually anything over a five um at the end of the the cycle is uh she's not ready yet um when she's at and when she's at a three the number will drop when 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 the the female's getting into labor and when it becomes a three she's going to be really close so and that's when if she's at a three or under it's safe to say that it's okay for you to um to uh do the c-section usually those numbers are pretty safe um usually when they're into in labor is a 2.5 and under. that's when they you definitely know that you're safe and, and you can probably see already the, the females in labor and that's when, when uh it's safe to do a c-section and um yeah i hope my information helped you guys but um yeah um you know i hope it answered a lot of questions a lot of uh uh people have been asking the same question over and over so i decided to just do this video and another thing is you when you're doing your breeding after the 5.0 nanograms per milliliter or 15 on a nanomoles numbers after that does not matter anymore it doesn't matter where she will be at her opening date to be bred is two to four days after they ovulate she can be a 30 she can be a 40 she can be a 25 she can be a 17 two three days later it does not matter every female is different um so but every female uh will ovulate and will drop eggs between three to four day so those are the the windows that you need to look at so numbers don't really matter after a five so anyone that that's telling you uh numbers do matter after a five is you know it's it's really it's really like to me it really doesn't matter it, it's been working for me um i've seen dogs that's tested two three days later and it's at a 40 and still um have a litter of seven or eight so you know for me it's it's been experience and stuff like that and and numbers don't matter after a 5.0 so keep that in mind i hope you guys have a great day and uh keep it bully keep it clean